The imagery of Jules Verne is surpassed by the reality of this jet version of the flying wing. Unique in design, this plane is an astounding addition to our modernized fleet of Air Force bombers. This Northrop YB-49 will accommodate a crew of 13. Adequate quarters are available in the thick wing center. Cabin pressurization is maintained by air taken from the engine air compressor. 172 feet from wingtip to wingtip, the total wing area of this giant plane is 4,000 square feet. Overall length is 53 feet and height 15 feet. Control surfaces are quite different from the type generally used on conventional aircraft. Directional control is obtained by the use of a split flap type rudder on each wing. Completely submerged in the wing are eight axial flow jet engines arranged in groups of four between each wheel well and outboard fuel tank. Landing gear is of the conventional tricycle type, the same as in the XB-35. The nose wheel retracts sidewise into its wheel well and the dual main wheels retract vertically into their respective wing wells. Comparatively little space is left in the wheel wells after the landing gear is retracted. The main external difference in the appearance of this jet bomber as compared to the XB-35 is the absence of propellers and propeller shaft housings which serve as stabilizers on reciprocating type aircraft. Just forward of its center is the wing's thickest section, about seven feet. The camber increases rapidly from the leading edge to the full thickness at a point about one-third of the way back, where it assumes a near-level appearance and then gradually recedes to a point at the trailing edge. In the YB-49, four vertical fins were added for directional stability. Lateral and longitudinal control of the gigantic jet-propelled flying wing is obtained by the use of elevons located at the trailing edge of the wing between the rudders and landing flaps. These elevons function differentially to provide lateral control and work together to furnish longitudinal control. All control surfaces are hydraulically actuated with a special control force bellows system to give a pilot the same control feel he would have on a conventional type airplane. Each engine has a 4,000 pound thrust and with eight engines, a total of 32,000 pounds thrust is available for takeoff. At a speed of 375 miles per hour, the engines develop 32,000 horsepower. In flight, the YB-49 resembles a huge bat easing its way swiftly above the mountainous terrain. The exceedingly narrow approach angle presents a smaller target than any other giant bomber. Weighing 88,000 pounds when empty, the massive plane has a maximum allowable weight of 213,000 pounds. The sweep back design reduces air drag to a minimum and the elimination of the empennage enhances the ability of the plane to reduce air impacts at very high speeds. A culmination of many years of dreams and advanced ideas, the YB-49 is a splendid flying example of the neoteric progress made by science and research in the development of an Air Force second to none.